So 3-0 winning it today against Clifton All Watts Development. How impressed were you with the last performance today? Yeah, another another strong game from them. Um, they gave us a good game to be fair to them. But yeah, another strong game. Um, some some decent goals and some really good good football played at times. And that's eight consecutive wins, and I believe that you've wrapped up the title now with two games in hand. I mean, that must be a, a great thing for the club now. Yeah, absolutely delighted, and I think the boys deserve it over the course of the season. It's been stop-start as well, but since we've been in, they've been, they've been a credit to themselves, and they've kept going, and the performances have, have been consistent, and, and they really deserve it. So congratulations to them from us, and um, I think a lot of the credit's got to go to the academy as well. They're All, all the lads that play have, have been through the academy or are still within it. Um, so yeah, it's great work from Dutch and, and Kurt there. And you mentioned the academy players there. Uh, Gail got a brace today. Andrew scored again. I mean, how impressed have you been with their performances? Oh, they've been a del delight to work with and a pleasure. And um, all of them dead polite lads, but on the on the pitch they know how to play as well. So yeah, it's, it's been a good experience for me. And across the eight games, you've only conceded five goals. Another clean sheet today. Really strong de defensive performance. Yeah. yeah. The back four are phenomenal, even Marcus as well. You know, Ewan and Marley have got a great partnership together, and Harry on the, on the left is is very very good what he does. Same with Reese Bird, strong lad, very fit, gets up and down. So yeah, very impressed with them all. Hopefully, we can um, get some um, promoted to the first team set up in pre-season to see how they get on. And uh, a bit of a controversial one. Do you think Gail should have had a hat trick with that offside yeah. goal? No, never offside. Never in a million years. We were stood virtually in line with it. I don't know what the line is doing. But go on. That's the rules of the game, gotta go with it. Yeah, no, buzzing with the lads again. You know, we've come away with three points undefeated in the league. Can't fault anyone's work rate, effort. And to be fair, it's been a great collective effort from the team throughout the whole season. It must be very pleasing for you as the uh, the captain of the community FC team. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. For me, it's a personal note winning the league. You know, you've just got to beat the teams you've come up against and we've done that week in, week out, Tuesday, Saturday. So it's really pleasing and now we can go on, push on in the next league and have a bit more of a challenge. And another clean sheet today as a, a member of the defence. I mean, you've only conceded five all season. How important has that been in your title? Yeah, no, it's crucial for us as a defence to almost help the team out as much as we can. You know, if we keep a clean sheet, our, back, our attackers to score goals. And a coach once said to me, goals win your games, but clean sheets win your leagues. So that's stuck with me. Yeah, a great quote there. I mean, um, it must be very pleasing for you as well as um, I know you're quite involved with the academy as a coach uh, to see players like Andrew and uh, James Gale scoring again today. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm down at the academy coaching in the week, so seeing those lads progress from the start of the season to now, they look completely different players. And seeing them get on the score sheet, buzzing for the lads. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you.